right, folks, you are watching Downshift Pass. My name is Chad, and thank you for checking out another one of my reviews. Now, if you are new here, welcome to the channel. If you are not new here, welcome back to the channel. And guys, I am super excited about today's video. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. We have the 2021 Honda Civic Type R. So when Honda brought over the Type R a few years back to the States, they really set out to make a powerful, crazy statement inside and outside this car. It has the head turn and styling, the crazy aerodynamics, as you can see from this very ridiculous wing back here, and the race design cockpit, they made sure that it screamed high performance. And I really wanted to see if, you know, this car lives up to its looks. So of course, I'm gonna show you around the vehicle. We're gonna do the drive and audio tests. But first, let's start with the styling. So starting up front guys, I think this is the most menacing angle of the Type R. Here is where you can see all the engineering that they did for the aerodynamics of this car. Up top you have a functional hood scoop and then down below you also have larger intakes in the grill and a larger intake down below to help breathe that intercool to help that intercooler breathe a lot better. Of course you have your daytime running lights as well as headlights and fog lights which are all LED. And then in the middle here, you have your red Honda badging as well as the Type R badging, which is all set to the side here, which I absolutely love that little detail. Now down below, you do have a nice pronounced splitter that aids in the incredible stability and grip that this car has. And all in all, I think it makes for a very aggressive uh, yet completely functional Civic Type R. All right, folks, and as we come along to the side here, you do have a lot more of these over elements that I was talking about. However, I cannot help but be drawn to these large Brembo brakes. Take a look at these red brake calipers. Now, these are a four-piston front caliper, also a two-piece rotor, and you know that all aids in the cooling down the brakes, you know, when you're charging hard into corners or what have you. Now, helping showcase these brakes are a 20-inch gloss black alloy wheel, which is shot in performance tires. These are actually a Continental Twilight a Continental tire. It's a 245-30ZR rated tire. And man, oh man, are these tires forever sticky. Take a look at the dirt that this picks up. I mean, it is, it, it holds tight to everything, including the road. And you notice that when you're hitting the corners, but I'll get into that more with the drive. Now down the rest of the car, you do have a front fender vent. And these vents actually work in tandem with the hood scoop to also help with engine cooling. And you're probably noticing a theme here with all the cooling that this car needs, but this is truly a track focused machine. So you were absolutely going to need it. Coming along the side here, you do have your LED turn signals as well as a body colored mirror. And speaking of color, this is called Boost Blue Pearl. This color was new for 2020. And on this 2021, they still offered it. And I'm so happy that they do. And I think it's the best color that they offer next to the Phoenix Yellow that you can get. But sound off in the comments below which type R color you would get for yours. Now coming around to the back here, this is where some folks say Honda went crazy. And some say that they did it just right. Of course, you cannot miss this crazy big spoiler. It lets everyone know that you are driving not your standard Civic hatchback, but the Type R. Now, this spoiler, along with these Vortex generators, which is just right above the rear window, Honda says that there is an increase in downforce when those two things work in tandem with each other. And also further down is your rear diffuser and some non-functional openings here, which you know what, because of the way this car drives, I will give Honda a pass on those non-functional scoop. And of course you have your three outlet exhausts. Now Honda explains that this is more than just styling and that the center outlet is actually a resonator that puts out an aggressive throaty note under acceleration. So let's go ahead and put that to the test. So I think it sounds pretty okay. It wasn't what I was expecting and considering the styling of this car and the heritage behind this car I was actually expecting a little bit more. But you guys tell me what you think down below. It's your turn again. Did you love that exhaust note? If you loved it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button. And if you thought it was just meh, hit that subscribe and notification bell so you'll be notified when I post another video that, you know, may have something a little bit better that you like. Now let's go ahead and pop the hatch. Now the Civic Type R, of 
course started its life as a regular Honda Civic hatchback. And back here is really when the car becomes super functional. You have 25.7 cubic feet of space with the seats up. And if you fold the seats flat, it'll give you 46.2 cubic feet of space. Just enough space for you to uh, put four tires back here on your track days. Now, if you wanted to fold the seats, you do have a latch here. You just push that down and push the seat forward. Same on that side. And then you also have a cover here. Now, this is a flimsy little cover, but in the name of uh, saving weight, that's what I'm going to assume they use this material for. All you do is slide this forward and it'll slide over there. And then you also have another piece as well back here to cover all of your goods in the hatchback. Um, down below you do have an air repair kit. This does not come with a spare tire on the Type R. And then of course, little extra storage area should you need it. And under there is not too much of anything. But that is all the space in the trunk. Let's go ahead and take a look under that all aluminum hood. All right, folks, and here's where all the fun takes place for the Type R. Now, underneath this iconic red cover is Honda's inline four-cylinder engine. Does have a turbocharger with 23 PSI of boost, as well as VTEC. Produces an exhilarating 306 horsepower at 6,500 RPM and 295 pound-feet of torque starting at 2,500 RPM. Has a 7,000 RPM red line, all matted through a six-speed manual transmission with rev match control. Now, if gas mileage is important to you, you will be getting 22 in the city 28 on the highway for a combined mileage of 25 miles per gallon and all I'm going to say guys 306 horsepower I'm going to bet money that this engine is severely underrated this car pulls unbelievably hard from beginning of the rev range all the way up until its red line now some notable features here I believe that I think that I think are really cool here this under this little silver part is what the hood scoop is attached to so it brings all the air through this little silver part here and then down below here is where the fender vent is you probably can see it down in there so it directs the air from here down there and then you of course you have your side skirt running along the side of the vehicle all the way to the back and honda says that this is like an air curtain around the whole vehicle to keep it tightly planted to the streets or the track but you know what let's go ahead and hop inside the type r all right, folks, so stepping into the rear of the 2021 Honda Civic Type R, you do have your black seats back here with some nice uh, red seat belts as well as your red stitching on the seats. And then down below on the carpet, you also have red outline. But I'm going to go ahead and hop back here so we can take a look at how much room we have. Shut this door. Now, Honda says you get 35.9 inches of rear seat leg room. I am 5'8", and I do have the driver's seat in my seating position. Um, and I have, you know, pr pretty good space down here. You don't have a lot of space under the seat to put your feet, but overall, it's pretty decent space. Of course, you have your power window switch right here. Have a nice tweeter on the door. Honda has been doing that since the 90s, putting the tweeters on the door uh, in the rear, and I absolutely love that. Coming between the middle here, you do have two cup holders, no seat back pockets, none of that extra stuff back here. Here again this is a track focused automobile you want to save as much weight as you can you do have a speaker in the door back here as well nice head rest no arm rests um, and the overall comfort of the seat is pretty decent i'll tell you one thing for all the handling that this car can do you will not be wanting to sit back here you would definitely want to be sitting in those front bucket seats uh, but speaking of the front let's go ahead and take a look up there now to unlock the car you just put your hand behind the handle and it will unlock for you. If you want to lock it, you just push this black button here and it will lock right up. But let's go ahead and hop into the car and start it right up. It's about 100 degrees today in Charlotte, or at least it feels like it. So I'm going to get some air going. Let's close this door. Has a nice solid thunk to it, I believe. Again, it's lightweight aluminum materials on this vehicle, and I think it sounds pretty good. But let's see this startup sequence. Really pretty cool sequence there. Now coming along to the side here, you do have automatic windows for your front driver side and passenger side. And then in the back, it's just your standard uh, power control switches that you do have to hold. On the side here, you do have some buttons for your Honda sensing system. Now for 2020, Honda made the Honda sensing system standard on the Civic Type R. So you have lane mitigation, you have uh, accident avoidance, you have adaptive cruise control, a couple of different features here um, with that Honda sits 
with that Honda sensing system. Say that three times fast. <laughs> and then of course you do have your Alcantara steering wheel here, which is in black and red. You do have some nice stitching on the steering wheel as well. And it's a nice thick wheel. It feels really good, um, especially if you have sweaty palms once you're hitting it hard on the track. It's gonna really still hold better than uh, your standard genuine leather. Now on the steering wheel controls on the left side here is where you have your volume rocker as well as all of your controls to control this digital gauge cluster here and your Bluetooth controls. And then on the right side is where you would control your cruise control and the adaptive cruise control that this vehicle also has. And you know what, for the sake of it, let's go ahead and see what it sounds like revving up on the inside of the car. Hmm, not too bad. Now when you start the car, it does start in a sport setting, which I think is really neat. And then of course you do have different drive modes on this vehicle. So I'll go down to comfort first. That's comfort. Everything turns white. It shows you that it retunes the suspension to its softest setting. Of course this car, yes, it does have retuned suspension. We'll go to the sport mode, which it starts in no matter when you start the car, it'll always start in its sport mode. And then R mode. So everything kind of turns a little bit red. The red up here gets a little bit brighter. And then of course, that's when the suspension will be in its most firm setting. Now coming along the side here, you do have some red accents that they placed on the vehicle as well. And then some fake carbon fiber trim here. This is a semi soft material that you get right here. So I'm really happy they didn't put hard plastics. They really could, especially with all the engineering that went into this car. Coming along to the glove compartment here, it is not damped, it is not lined with felt. So anything you put in there will rattle around and it's pretty decent space in there as well now here you have your seven inch infotainment system um, again this is the 10th gen the 11th gen is on its way to dealerships as i'm filming this so i do think this is a little small but with the new generation of the type r the new generation of the civic this is going to be a lot bigger a lot nicer um, it does come with its standard navigation of course you do have apple carplay as well as android auto if you want to use waze or whatever your preferred navigation system is you have your audio controls here here, your phone controls here as well um, and I do think it's a little slow especially to the touch you see I push something and it takes a minute for it to come up but again you're really not buying this car for this infotainment system you're really going to purchase this for the drive of course you have your climate control buttons here you do have a driver and passenger climate control which I'm so happy that they put this here and then you have a weighted shifter here as well with really precise throws short shifter as well and then of course we'll shift it over to reverse and there is your rear view camera you do have your three different angles which all hondas are always going to have which i love this is a down angle um, so you can see your bumper from up high this is your standard angle and then this is your wide angle here and then coming even further down, you have a brake hole feature, an electronic parking brake, which this car needs a manual parking brake, but an electronic parking brake. And this is where your different drive modes are here. So if you want to switch drive modes, you just push this switch here. And then you do have your two cup holders as well. And it's really functional here. If I move this here, you can actually slide this back and then you see it goes much, much deeper. And then down below in here, you have a USB charger as well and then you have your armrest here which also slides forward and back and if you open this you see you have more storage solutions this comes out it goes way down in there um, then you have something back here where you can also put a key or something like that so really functional space in the Honda Civic Type R again it started its life as a regular Civic hatch so that's a good thing because you're going to have all that functionality but let's really get into what this car is about and that is the drive all right folks sitting out here in the 2021 honda civic type r now of course i like to drive how i would drive the car if i owned the vehicle right now i'm in this sports setting which is the standard setting for the vehicle but i'm going to go ahead and put it in r mode so we can go ahead and see what this uh, full type r experience is like of course i'm going to do the drive um, talk a little bit about the drive and of course do the audio test so make sure you stick around for that and let's go ahead and get started and 
one thing I really want to commend Honda on is especially with this uh, suspension tuning, the adjustable suspension. All the different modes actually have a, a really distinct characteristic. So our mode is definitely a little rough. Um, it's, it'll be really good for the track, but on the highway, it's not unbearable. When you put it in a sports setting, it's really the perfect balance between the two. And then in comfort mode, changes the characteristic of this car completely. It really brings it to daily driver status. Of course, it's going to be a little bit more hard edge than your typical um, car, your regular vehicle. But I mean, that this car is nothing about this car is regular. So in comfort mode, it's still a little rough, but it's a lot more comfortable than if it was in R mode or sport mode. Another thing I love about R mode is check this out when I downshift. So there's your automatic rev match control. And it does it really quickly. As soon as your foot engages the clutch, boom, it downshifts. So it's always ready to go. Now, if there is a way to cut it off, I have not figured that out yet. It would be nice to cut it off if you do want to control it yourself, a person like me, I love to do that stuff on my own, or at least try to. So, uh, but it definitely makes you look like the perfect stick shift driver. Uh, if someone did not know that this had rev match control. highway when you're just cruising along um, the car does rev kind of high 77 75 miles an hour right now I'm revving right at about 3,000 a little above 3,000 rpm um, and if you know Honda's Honda's are not known for quiet interior so the road noise in here is pretty loud the exhaust sounds pretty good you can tell it's a piped in exhaust noise artificial noise but it sounds really good it sounds much better than it does on the outside i believe but you definitely have a lot of road noise coming in uh, nice expansive windshield i love the low hood even with the hood scoop there it doesn't impede on your view whatsoever you have nice large rear view mirror and rear visibility is really good as well you have the nice large glass there and right below it you also have a little strip of glass that you can see out of as well honda also gave this car a brand new suspension so underneath this car is not going to drive like anything you have ever driven before i completely understand why it has broken records um why it handles so well i mean it's a brand new suspension up front as well as in the rear and see how this handles take a look at this rev match oh i love that oh my gosh i mean it wants more it wants more it wants more check it out Oh my god <laughs> now honda says this car will do zero to 60 in about five seconds five and a half seconds you can turn the vehicle stability assist completely off and i do have that so nobody's behind me now i'm going to give it a little boost and then i'm going to go I want to do that one more time all right again vehicle stability assist off first gear gonna boost it a little bit wow oh my gosh and you probably notice it bumping around a little bit on the camera that's that uh, our suspension. This is a very, <laughs> this is a very visceral experience. It's loud. It's rough. It it kind of throws you out of your seat a little bit. It's just a lot of noise. The shifting is quick action shifting. It feels really, really good, and it pulls in every gear from first to whatever gear that i hit up to 60 miles an hour as you can see that i went and it pulls there quickly now i don't have any timers to see if it's doing it in five something seconds but it definitely feels like a five second if not a little bit quicker car
And you know, no matter how hard you drive this car, you do have that wheel hop on acceleration or when you just kind of dump the clutch on the acceleration run, but you have zero, zero torque steer. That's because Honda put on this car a limited slip differential that does a really great job of controlling that torque steer. So a lot of people always ask, well, why not all wheel drive in the Type R? Why not all wheel drive like the Golf R has? Well, Honda really doesn't need it. They did a really good job of controlling torque steer and controlling just the wheels itself. Now, if it's raining outside or if you're really hammering on it in the corners when it's wet, you're definitely gonna get some understeer. I mean, I've tried to power out of a corner at one point. Wheels were this way, car was going this way. So you do definitely uh, learn its limitations, but those limits are really, really high. And for the average driver, you probably won't even reach those limits unless you're really on the track. Now for the audio test portion of the vehicle, of course you know it won't be a downshift pass video without one. I'm going to go ahead and drop the car into its comfort setting. Say we're just cruising around town, enjoying our car. Honda put a 540 watt audio system in this car. It is a premium audio system. You have 12 speakers as well as a subwoofer attached to it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the audio test. down below what you think about the audio system my initial thoughts about this audio system is this i believe that honda underrates their engine severely 306 horsepower this car has to reduce more 295 pound feet of torque i think it's at least 300 315 or something like that 540 watts on this stereo absolute lie cannot be it just doesn't sound like it i don't think it sounds as good um the stereo is decent at best the bait it gets really bassy it definitely distorts when you turn it up high i didn't even cut the radio up as high and if you have all the windows down and if you have all the windows down and you cut the volume all the way up it's still not the clarity is not there the volume is not there it's just lacking on a lot of things but i will give honda a complete pass for that because again this car is not engineered for that. What it's engineered for, it does amazingly well and probably much better than that car in front of me right there, STI, what are the odds? Clutch engagement also feels really good. It's a relatively light clutch, a little bit heavier than you know your run of the mill standard transmission, but the engagement is uh, not too high up. It's right in the middle. And then the shift, the gear shift action feels really good. It's really super precise. Um, and it's short throws, of course, as well. And they feel really pleasant isn't just rolling through the gears. It definitely makes you want to um, do it a lot. You don't have to ring this out the way you would a typical VTEC engine, uh, but you definitely will want to just because the gear shift lever, the gear shifts feel really good to do so. All right, guys, and just rolling into my final thoughts on the Honda Civic Type R, and I wanted the question answered. Does the car live up to its hype, to its heritage, to its looks? And I'm here to say that this car lives up to everything. Whatever you think this car is, think 10 times that. 
that's what this car is. It's a blast to drive. It's very functional. It has its hatchback. It has really good cargo capacity as well. Seats folded up, seats folded down. And then when you get into this driver's seat, you are held tightly by these uh, full suede leather seats. You have the nice bolstering on the sides as well. And it lets you know that you're in something special. When you start it up, you really realize it's something special. But when you put this car in the first gear and take off, you recognize that this car is meant to be driven. So 100% a driver's car, 100% a car person's car, you're going to love it. All right, folks, well, I appreciate you watching as always. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something new, or if you just liked it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that thumbs up button. If you loved everything about it, hit that notification bell as well so you'll be notified when I post my next video. It definitely helps the algorithm and it helps the channel continue to get massively cool cars like this. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to follow us on all social media, Instagram, as well as TikTok, so you can get some behind the scenes views of everything that I'm recording. And I appreciate you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.